Wildfires rage out of control in Portugal as the nation fights deadly forest fires. State of calamity declared in Portugal. Thousands of firefighters battle ongoing blazes. At least seven people killed in deadly wildfires. Houses, farms, vehicles reduced to ashes. Forest fires in Portugal leaves path of destruction. No relief for locals. Killer wildfires continue to burn in Portugal. Neighboring nations extend helping hand. Spain, Italy, France and Morocco send waterbombing aircrafts. Is climate change making wildfires more frequent? Portuguese authorities have declared a state of calamity as the nation battles more than 100 wildfires. The deadly forest fires have stretched thousands of firefighters to their limits in northern Portugal. According to reports at least, seven people have lost their lives since the worst spate of fires in recent years spread out of control. This is as the Portuguese Prime Minister called on police investigators to redouble their efforts to find those who started the fires and pledged help for those who have lost their homes or have been evacuated. Among the hardest hit areas by the wildfires is the district of Aveiro, but several major blazes were also raging out of control in other wooded areas. Meanwhile, Authorities have prohibited the use of heavy farming equipment to reduce the risk of inadvertently starting a blaze. Data from the European Forest Fire Information Service showed that large-scale blazes had burned an area of more than 105,000 hectares since September 14. Only this year a total of some 140,000 hectares have been burned. This is the widest burned area since 2017 when Portugal suffered two devastating waves of wildfires that killed more than 100 people. Meanwhile, to assist Portugal, Spain's military has sent 240 soldiers in vehicles from its emergency response battalion specialized in combating fires. Apart from that, four water dumping planes from France, two from Spain and two from Italy were deployed after Portugal's appeal for help from their fellow EU members. Morocco likewise responded to a request by Portugal with two water dumping planes. The hot dry conditions behind the outbreak in Portugal coincided with flooding in Central Europe. The European Union said that juxtaposed extreme weather phenomena are proof of a climate breakdown. Experts link the fires to both climate change and the abandonment of traditional farming and forestry professions that helped keep rural areas clear of underbrush that is now fuel for fires.